YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Liz Leanne and I focus mostly on lifestyle on my channel and that includes like a little bit of like, mature beauty, plus size fashion, everything that I consider to be sort of my lifestyle. Um, today I am going to make a Victoria sandwich. Um, I am going to Halloween it up a little bit. So welcome to a new Vlogtober video. Right, so for this cake you will need your cake tins, your Victoria sandwich tins which I've already greased and I tend to just line mine at the bottom with a little bit of greaseproof paper. So I'll pop that over here to one side now. And then I have um, 200 grams of sugar, 200 grams of softened butter or margarine. I've got stalk cake making uh, margarine here. You will need 200 grams of self-raisin flour, four eggs, you need one teaspoon of baking powder, and two tablespoons of milk. So I've just popped a little bit of milk in the cup. Now, I'm using a KitchenAid because that's just what I've got. You can use, do it by hand. If you let your butter soften enough, it's quite simple to do it by hand. Um, you can use whatever mixer you choose or whatever method you choose. Um, so I'm just going to pop, that's it. Um, okay, so I know some people tend to beat the, the butter with the sugar to make it lighten the soft. Some people add everything in. Um, I'm a little bit of both. I can do it both ways. But I think trying to keep this a little bit more traditional today, I'm going to just, I mean, I do like to chuck everything in for quickness and it works an absolute treat, but I'm gonna sort of try and stick to it a little bit more traditionally today. Also, I'm just looking at um, Ronald the pigeon out there. Yeah, we name our pigeons. <laughs> Eating the berries off of the honeysuckle bush. Right, so I'm going to go in first of all. Let me just get a, um, a little thingy. I'm going to just pop my butter in. And I'm just going to just beat that for just a sec to just soften it up a little bit. I apologise for the dog next door. Oh, they isn't mine. I do tell you when it's mine because they do bark as well. It's quite soft anyway because I've had it stood out for a while. There we go, that will do. Just knock some of that off with the paddle. Okay, I'm going to go over my 200 grams of caster sugar. If you don't have caster sugar, you can use granulated sugar, it's fine. Put back in again. Right, I'm just going to turn this up. So I might mute you on this. There we go, so now I'm going to go in traditionally with one egg at a time so take an egg if you want to be ultra cautious you can always pop it into a cup first to make sure the egg's fine I'm going to get a spoon ready to start spooning my flour in so I'm just going to uh, eat this while that's on a low B I'm going to add some flour because what you don't want is the egg to curdle. If you add the eggs too quickly, um, if you're adding all the eggs, say to like your butter mix, it will definitely curdle. When you're adding everything in one go, it doesn't do that. Right, I'm ready to go in with another egg now. And some more flour. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to scrape some of the um, 
the mixture off of the side of the bowl and I'm going to lower you down so that you can see what I'm doing more. Okay. Right, there we are. You can see the bowl a bit easier now. So I'm just going to pop another egg in. So this is the third egg. And give it a mix. And go in with some more flour, just gradually adding it. Right, final egg is going in. And, and then to this I'm adding my teaspoon of baking powder. remaining flour and then the two tablespoons of milk this is just semi-skimmed milk right, I'm going to just move all the mixed away from the sides of the mixer and then give it its final mix you don't want to over mix it because you're going to knock the air out. Um, so I wouldn't suggest having it on too fast. And the final mix. And that is it. into each of the prepared cake tins. So I'm just going to sort of like do a dollop in one and a dollop in the other. There we go. And I've already preheated my oven to um, 170 fan, if it's not fan, electric oven, it's 190, um, I'm not sure what that is, gas guys, you'd have to like look that up, or you're familiar with your own gas cooker. <coughs> and excuse fingers, but they are clean. So I'm just going to give it a little, very gently, push it out to the sides, just to level it out a bit. I mean, a lot of this will happen naturally in the oven anyway, but just to help it on its way a little bit. And I tend to make not a dip but just take a little bit away from the center and then you tend to not get that too much of like you know sometimes you get like a, a risen bit on the top of these sponges that helps reduce that a little bit There we are, one cake made. Mm. And I'm gonna go and pop this in the oven now for about 20 minutes. You want it when you touch it for it to be firm and it to spring back, the sponge to spring back. So I'm gonna pop it in now and I'll see you on the other side when they're cooked. So they're out of the oven. Um, let me just get a tea towel. 
so they're out of the oven now look so i've got them both on you can see this one here on cooling racks so once they have cooled down a bit i will turn them out and once they've gone cold i will fill them with jam i was going to do a buttercream icing and i've just checked and i don't have any icing sugar i don't know how that's happened i'm never normally out of icing sugar but i really don't have any <laughs> Um, so, my plans of turning this into the Halloween cake I had planned is going to be the Halloween cake I hadn't planned, and let's just wait and see what happens, shall we? I'll see you when this is all cooled down. Right, so the cake is completely cooled down now, so what I tend to do, let me lower you down again. So I've got my plate, and I just pop a little bit of icing sugar, just on the bottom of the plate, to stop the actual cake from sticking and then pop the first part of the Victoria sandwich onto the plate and I've got some strawberry jam I find if you just give it a quick mix like that with a knife it kind of helps it to spread a bit easier as you can see I like a generous amount of jam in my filling. If I was putting butter icing in this, if I had icing sugar, I probably wouldn't put so much in, obviously, because it would just sort of slip around when you put the top layer on, and it makes life a little bit harder for it to cut, to cut it. Um, but because I'm not, and I'm only having the jam now as the sandwich layer, I'm popping on lots, and then wipe my knife off on the other half, and then tip that up and pop it on so there we are I have my Victoria sandwich now because I don't have icing sugar which means I can't do what I had planned you know how to decorate my cake I've got to try something different. Think outside the box. So I'm taking a ring like this and I'm going to push it into the cake a bit, which is just like a cookie cutter. And another one, and I'm just going to do that one sort of randomly here. And then I'm going over the cake with icing sugar. And that's left like little indentations in the cake. And so there I'm just going to pop in some silver balls and push it into the little crevice. So here we are guys, I have finished the cake. In a minute I'm gonna turn the camera, well I'll lower it down so you can see exactly what I've done. Now, as you know, this wasn't what I planned. I had planned to do butter icing and to sort of, sort of color the top, like an orangey sort of color with butter icing on the top as well. But, as you know, I couldn't find any ice and sugar. I don't have any. So it's one of those things that you just have to improvise and sort of think outside the box, be a little bit creative. And I had a little bit of ice and sugar left in my little um, dredger. So I've used that to go over the top of the cake. And then I'll talk you through what I've done. Um, but first of all, let me say, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give my video a nice big thumbs up because that really does help my channel out absolutely no end. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you, if you could do so. And don't forget to press the notification bell for all of my new uploads. But before I go, I need to do lipstick of the day. So this is something I've reintroduced to my channel. I used to do it all the time. Um, then I sort of stopped doing it. And then I started to get a lot more questions about which lipstick am I wearing, so I thought I'd start it all up again. 
Um, so my lipstick of the day is this one. It's a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. It's Pillow Talk. I think we all know Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. And it's one of those colours, I think, that suits every skin tone out there. There isn't one person I don't know that doesn't suit Pillow Talk. Um, so it comes in this gorgeous little, um, well, gold packaging. There we go. Camera going to zoom in on that or focus on that at least. Um, the bullet itself is that colour which is very true to the colour it is on the lips. Um, sometimes you see a lipstick in the bullet once you put it on your lips it's entirely a different colour but this one isn't so I'll just sort of go over it again. And as you can see perfect colour match, it feels lovely, it's very silky, moisturising, it doesn't drag, it's just what you'd expect actually from a Charlotte Tilbury uh, lipstick, so yeah that's one of my favourites. So I'm going to just pop it down now and show you exactly what I've done and why I've done it. Hi, here we go then, so this is the cake, so what I've done, I you saw me using the cookie cutters, I just made like the indentation of like a, two small ones and then one that's slightly bigger sort of push the cookie cutter into the sponge just to make that indentation just pop some little silver balls around the outside to frame it and then I had some glacé cherries so I've just halved the glacé cherries and then for the little stalks um, I've just popped in some green pipe cleaners and, and my pumpkin mug right here just there is ready and waiting for me to cut in to this cake. So, you ready for a piece of cake, Luke? Yep. See, we're all ready. So I'm going to go now and have a nice piece of cake and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye for now. See you in the next Vlogtober video. Mm -hmm.